So, this next lesson, this quick lesson, is going to be looking at creating a toggle button. Now, firstly, what is a toggle button? A bu toggle button is a button that has multiple states. When I say states, I mean it has multiple positions or multiple functions attached to it. So, I've made a button here called Show Hide Options and it controls this button group. Okay, so I've made this button group and inside the button group I've added two option buttons. Okay, so the idea is the show and hide options, when I click on it, every time I click on it, it shows and hides these two options. Okay, so let's have a look at the blocks editor. Visible. So, what this basically means is that when the button is clicked, I can check to see if this is visible or not visible. And then I can decide what I want to do to the option group depending on what I've got there. So, let's make it make sense. So, I'm going to click on the blocks editor. I'm going to choose on the sh button that show hides options. 
and I want to say every time I click it I want to perform some some things here so the type of script I'm going to use now is called an if else so when it's just start typing if else if else you can see it shows up there so you're just going to hit enter and it's created this for me now now the way this works is simple we're going to do a test and then we're going to decide what happens if that test is true and then we're going to decide what happens if that test is not true so let's start off by doing the test so I'm going to do an equals test so I'm going to just type equals hit enter now it's added a test structure for me so the first thing I'm going to test is option state so we can go to my definitions pick option state value Gonna click it there and it's a type of text I'm going to evaluate it as though it was text so I'm going to choose text and what do I want to evaluate so if it's not visible or if it's visible so I'm going to start off by saying if it's visible so I'm going to pop this here so if option state is visible it's going to do something else it's going to be not visible so if option state is visible what do I want it to do first thing I want to get it to do is to show the option group so I'm going to go to the option group and I'm going to pick set the option group visibility here we go the option groups visibility I'm going to set it to true or false so I'm going to click on logic and pick true alternatively I could have just alternatively I could have just typed in true okay so once I've set that I need to decide what happens if it's not true if this test is not true I'm going to go again to the option group and go to the visibility I'm going to set it pretty much just the same as this but this time I'm going to set it to false so if it's true or if it's false so if it's if this is true then it's going to do this command otherwise it's going to do this command but when I set it to true I've got a problem it's now only visible so I need to switch it back to not being visible so when I say it I'm talking about the option state so I'm going to type in option state click there option state I'm going to set it to some text type in text I'm going to set it to not visible now we have to make sure our spellings are consistent so we've got to make sure they're both the same spell exactly the same and I'm going to do it again so option state I'm going to set it to visible so let's have a quick look at what's that oops wrong one I'm going to set this visible to some text and this is going to be visible Okay, so it's either visible or not visible. So if it's visible, I'm going to pass this test and say I'm going to set my visible to true, yes, and then set the option state to not visible so that next time I click on the button, it's going to look at this test and say, right, it can't do that, so it's going to do this instead, which is going to then in turn set the visibility to false and then set the option state to visible okay so this option state is basically changing from two options two values which is going to be not visible and visible so depending on whether it's visible or not it's going to show or hide our options so let's just look at our emulator and see if this works so here it is now I'm going to show okay so when I click on it it's actually showing and hiding 
I'll tell you what, I'm not sure if you noticed something. The very first time I clicked on it, it actually did nothing. Now, the reason why it did nothing is it was initially set to not visible. So, I'll leave that for you to see if you can work out.